Hey guys, Kamaya here. First things first, do you like my shirt? Well, you shouldn't because it's a scarf. <laughs> I got mad when I was getting dressed for this and I couldn't find a shirt. So I just took my scarf and I was like, <laughs> and I made a shirt out of a scarf. Inventive, you know, creativity, <laughs> those creative types. Um, anyway, you guys came here for a book review and a book review you shall get. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and review my father had a daughter, a Judith Shakespeare tale by uh, Grace Tiffany. And it says it's a novel by Grace Tiffany because she takes actually facts that are known about Judith Shakespeare's life and uh, applies some fiction to it, you know, how she thinks that things would have played out. So it's read more as a story than just like, here's a biography. You know what I mean? Um, she puts like, she sets the scene so well. Um, it's Everything's very vivid. You feel like you're there. It's it's really good, actually. And I wasn't 100% sure I'd like it because I'm not... <laughs> uh, this is not going to give me good points in a Ryan community, but I am not a huge William Shakespeare fan. <laughs> shoot me. Shoot the target. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just not. Like, you know, everybody can't like everything and stuff. So I wasn't 100% sure I'd like it. But actually reading this book and reading about, like, his daughter, now I'm kind of interested in maybe going back and rereading some of his stuff and seeing if like I can look at things in a new light. Um, but essentially she starts out as being like, you know, a little more precocious, very imaginative. Uh, she's a twin, a twin same Hamnet. Um, they both were so uncertain that uh, William Shakespeare was their father because he would just like be there and write, argue with their mom and go. <laughs> um, I was actually a little annoyed by that because like he loved his kids which was awesome because when he saw them, he really showed them love. However, I don't like that he only saw them like once or twice a year. You know, I'm huge on people being actual parents that are kids. So I don't care what time period it is, okay? I don't care if you're a caveman. I don't care if you're a fish in the sea. Be there for your kid, man. You be there. There are rules to this thing. Don't create lives if you can't see them. But anyway, yeah. So they weren't sure for a while, but then, you know, they finally asked their mom and, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. Uh, but they also have an old sister named Susanna. She's not super present in the novel, so yeah, she don't matter. Um, so her and Hamlet, you know, they pretend she's a witch and, you know, they do the spell one day because, you know, Hamlet's just really upset because he just really wants his father to come home. She wants his, her father to come home. And so they do this, they do the spell and like Hamlet ends up dying and stuff by complete accident he drowns and you know it's she carries that guilt with her because she feels like it's her fault when it's just like oh girl this is why you need to be there for your kids because your kid died you weren't there when the kid died and they died because of you not being there <laughs> so <laughs> boom um but yeah so from that uh, she pays a little more attention to uh, Shakespeare's like poems and his theater, his screenplays and stuff, things that he writes. Um, and she becomes super, super invested in him. And one day she just decides to go to London, pose as a boy and try and get into his play. I'm not going to give you what happens after that, but you don't know if, you know, if this is a secret she, a deep secret she carries for the rest of her life and never tells him, or if he finds out who she is, you know what I mean? So I, I want to leave that open for you guys because it was, I was just like, oh, I'm not sure because you never know in times back then, you know? It's like they had phones, you know? He's not going to go on YouTube and be like, oh my gosh, she was in my play. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so I would absolutely recommend it. Definitely check it out, um, especially if you're looking for something really vivid. Uh, the way that Grace Tiffany wrote this was excellent. Um, you can really picture the scenes. You can get a little caught up in some of the language because a lot of it's very like old timey, but um, you know, take your time, take your time and enjoy the novel. And just for comparison's sake, um, I did try and read Galileo's Daughter prior. Terrible, okay? <laughs> Terrible. I just, I just, I mean, I'm not a scientist, you guys. <laughs> I'm just not a scientist. And there's just so much scientist in that. I mean, it was just really a perfect comparison because I read them like back to back and like they're about the same freaking subject. Um, so yeah, if you like science, you should read Galileo's Daughter. But if you don't, you should read My Father Had a Daughter. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so that's it for today. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I don't have anything else for you guys right now, but I will have another book review next week. I'm trying to get, you know, better at reading. It's just been kind of busy because I did release Mother Mike in and then I am writing a new novel. Um, title's a secret. <laughs> um, but yeah, questions, comments, concerns, leave in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.